Before I glue this all together, I need to decide whether I'm going to put a fighting butt or not onto this rod. And so there it is with the fighting butt. And then without I decided against the fighting butt so I'm going to prep the components and the blank for gluing I'm going to start with the grip assembly that would be the grip itself and then the real seat I'm going to start with the real seat the actual real seat has a top and bottom as well and so there is a slot for the foot of the reel so that goes on the bottom so i have both these marked on the bottom i'm probably going to tape these up a little bit more to make sure i don't get uh, epoxy all over the wood insert Okay, gonna prep the blank now. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, just a uh, piece of a towel or a rag or something clean. Pour some denatured alcohol on it and wipe down the area you're gonna glue. You're just trying to remove any excess oils and stuff like that. So that's just paint. You're not taking all the paint off. You're just taking a little bit of the residue that's on the blank. And that's all we need to do there and let that dry. Okay, now that it's dry, now I will just take a one of those scotch Bright. This is the gray one, the pads, and you're just going to just take a little bit of the sheen off. You don't need to do a lot of this. Just take some of that that um, clear coat off and this will improve adhesion greatly. And you can see, you know when you've done enough when you have eliminated the, um, the gloss from that part of the blank. So now it looks very matte. Okay, and then with a dry, clean rag, just wipe the blank again. And that's ready. Because I'm using a real seat with a wood insert, it's very tight. In fact, I can't put the, the real seat on over the butt section, but it does slide down from the other end. If I were using an all metal real seat, I'd have to put several bands of, of tape along underneath it and just build it up so that you get a good snug fit. But in this case, all I needed was one wrap of masking tape. So now I'm ready to glue. Now to glue the grip assembly onto the blank. You can use regular epoxy. I wouldn't use five minute epoxy because there just isn't enough working time. So you want a little, you may be a 30 minute epoxy. I'm gonna use epoxy paste. This is a product by I believe American Tackle called Pro Paste and it's a little easier to work with it it's not running and so you just you don't have to be precise in your measurements just a, that's probably gonna be enough two parts keep your uh, popsicle sticks separate don't mix them
This stuff's very forgiving, so it doesn't require a lot of mixing. Just incorporate it, the two parts together, and that should be good. Pot life is 15 minutes on this, so you want to be done working after 15 minutes. It'll start to harden up. Have a plan. I'm going to assemble the on the two parts, the grip and the reel seat first. So I'll be gluing these. I'll put a little epoxy right here. Assemble this and then uh, spread some epoxy onto the blank. I'm just removing the excess. That looks good. Now I've marked my blank. This would be the top of the grip. So I'm going to apply epoxy paste all the way down here, but I'm really just gonna concentrate on this area. And then as I push the assembly down the blank, it's the epoxy is just gonna fill all this space. So here we go. Now when I get down to the end, I want to make sure I don't have too much buildup inside the blank here. I can just wipe some of that out. So I'm going to back off a little bit and just wipe it off. Now, I want to align the Epic logo along the right side of the blank. So, I need to find the bottom. So, I had marked these at, at, as the bottom of the grip. And now, I'm just going to twist it. Position it. 
I just left one of the popsicle sticks here in the epoxy that I didn't use. So when this is hard, um, this will be all set. But one thing I do want to do is remove some of the tape around the edges. I just like to do that in case any of the epoxy got under the tape there. Looks good. Okay, come back in 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes and this is not cured yet. So I'm gonna wait another 15 minutes. We'll just keep checking it. 